And hello guys, this is Create Tech with another tutorial. And today we're actually going to learn how to make a game called Amazing Jump. Which is basically a game which has many levels and you're supposed to uh, try to jump over obstacles and get to the finish line. There are approximately 9 levels in this game. And before we start, I'm actually going to show you a preview of this game. So right now I'm in my projects and I'm gonna scroll down to a, a game called the Amazing Jump. I'm just gonna have to find it because I have a variety of projects and it's right here. So this is the first project I ever made. And so here's the game. So I'm this green thing, I'm supposed to try to jump over the white thing. The time thing, I didn't add a time thing because, you know, uh, it took, um, lots of time and effort to add the time thing because you're gonna have to measure the time it takes for, a, um, an average person to finish the game, and if your time is too low, lots of people will be, you know, unhappy because, Everyone's gonna lose, so I just removed the time, you know, people could just play this for fun, as time requires competition, cloud data, and all that. So, here are some levels, I'm just clicking space to jump, um, jumping over the obstacles, every time I touch the line, I get a new level. So, here, and then, when, click flag or whatever. So that right there was the game. And now we're actually going to learn how to make this game. So we're going to click see, we click see inside and we see one sprite and many scripts for the sprite. It's actually not that much, but there's more. Oh, there isn't more? I thought I added some to backdrops, but I was wrong. So this is the script. This is the scripting and by the way for this project I'm actually just gonna um, you see all of these backdrops I'm just gonna import them and put it on another project as this is gonna take too long if I just you know so I'm actually gonna you know put this all into a um, file I'm actually gonna remix this if I could, I don't think I can because duplicate. Oh. Yeah, so I can't remix, which is a problem. So I just clicked save as a copy. Now it's amazing jump copy. I'm just gonna quickly find the actual version of amazing jump so that we know we're going to the right track and. There's Amazing Jump here. My first project, Amazing Jump. Okay, so here is a real version. And right here, I'm just gonna make the screen a bit. And right here is the copy. I'm just gonna name it copy quickly. And now we're gonna start scripting. So the point of this was not just to copy all these scripts. I'm not gonna do that. My job as create text owner is to teach you guys these scripts. So I'm gonna, you know, quickly erase everything and bam. So now we erase everything. By the way, I actually only did this to get the backdrops. I don't wanna have to design all these again. It took like possibly half an hour. So we're gonna get started with scripting. Well, the basic scripting of this game is for, wait, so let's click flag. So as you can see, the ball is right here. We don't want the ball to be there. We want the game to start right like this. I actually want it be, to be perfect. There we go. It's not actually perfect, but it's pretty good. So when flag is clicked, we want the ball always to start there. So negative 169 and the Y is 2. So then we're going to have to make the ball, you know, to move to the right side. We could use move 10 steps, but 
I prefer actually using changing x by 10, so we're going to use forever, then we're going to use change x by 10, and let's see what this does. Oh my god. Okay, let's click flag. This is way too fast. Maybe you could get levels and say intermediate, hard. This should be the, you know, intermediate. It's not too fast, but it's pretty fast. I'm just going to make the easy version right now and do that speed. You could also do like 500 if you guys want to do that, but that's impossible. Like you can't even see it go, that's how fast it is. So, 5. So this is basically the movement of the script, right here. It moves. So now what we're going to have to add is, you know, the jump. So when the flag is clicked, and first we have to know what x and y is. x is horizontal, y is the vertical line. Um, so when the flag is clicked, we're going to want to change y. We're going to change y by 10. And let's see what this does. When the flag is clicked, change y by 10. As you as you can see, Y is increasing by 10 each time, but, you know, we don't want that to happen. So we're actually going to erase the script, and uh, we're going to do something else. When space is clicked, because we're right now we're focusing on jumping, so when space is clicked, change Y by 10. Wait, we're going to have to add a repeat. We could use forever, but then... The jumping will be forever. We want to use like something like repeat 10. It only happens for like 10 seconds. So repeat 10, change Y by 10. And then we're going to want to... It depends on how long you want to, you know, wait. I prefer waiting 0 0.3 seconds. Um, and then... We're going to do repeat again. Set what I mean, change Y. By negative 12. So at negative 12. And right now, let's test the jumping. So as you can see, that's what it does. It jumps and it does that. But as you can see, we're always going down. You know why? Because this is negative 12. It should be negative 10. We're gonna test it now, we're gonna jump, and we're back on the line, isn't that cool? So as you can see, repeat 10, I'll show you what it does if it's forever. For the sake of it, watch. So, boom. It's always gonna be up there. We just want it to happen like 10 times, so we're changing Y by 10 times, so we're changing Y by 100. But, I don't know, it's just happening 10 times. I'm pretty sure that's what repeat does. So, we're gonna test this again, and we got, you know, the jumping script. But now, whenever it touches this, you know, white part, we want it to go to another level. And, by the way, I'm actually gonna, you know, change the backdrop. Um... I'm not going to do all of these levels, I mean, you guys could if you want, actually, I'll just leave it, so, uh, we got the jumping script, and now, we're going to need, you know, whenever it touches a color, it will have to go back, like, if it touches the white thing, it's going to have to go back, so, to do that, we're going to need when flag is clicked forever if touching if touching color and then you just gotta pick that color so when flag is clicked forever if it's touching white we want it to go back to where it started so I'm just gonna du duplicate that Now let's test it. 
bit well I'm supposed to be touching it so as you can see I touch it and then they go back and they go back oh I just went under it uh, uh, oh I think that's why I added this thing it's actually a bug a scratch bug it's not only it scratches bug in general uh, that shouldn't be happening so you see we start regularly but if you die oh if you go to a black area do not click space okay I actually never, um, you know, use this project a lot, so, see, we go to the black, oh, I actually know why, because we're jumping right there, well, even if you go to the black space, you can't win, because you're gonna have to jump again, well, actually, you could, but then you're gonna have to jump and get that, and if you miss, you're gonna go even lower, because, well, actually, I know a way to fix that. We can do the same thing. If it's such a black, we're also gonna do that. So watch. If it's such a see, it's it can't go down. It's like frozen. That's magic. And yeah, I just fixed it. Pure power. Okay, so one thing that I'm actually gonna fix is this color. I want this to be. So if it's such a this red thing, then, you know, the magic happens. I mean, we go to the next uh, level, because right now, if it's such a black, it goes back, because we just fixed a bug together. And if it touches black, it's going to go back there, because it's the same color, so I just made it red. So now, we're actually going to add one flag is clicked forever if actually no one flag is clear yeah forever if touching color red then broadcast level two so that means I make it to level two and here when I receive level 2 so when I receive level 2 we want it to change backdrop to I don't know what it is backdrop 2 um, I'm not going to do this for everything I'm just showing you how to do it from 1 to 1 so we technically just got the game finished right now I'm going to click sprite and now oh it's the same thing, a bit cut off, so that's okay. So now, here is what we have. I'm actually going to remove the time variable. I don't like the time variable. So now we click flag, and then we touch the red, and bam, a new level. And as you can see, the same white thing, like all obstacles in this game are white. I mean, so it's perfect. But when you touch black, nothing will happen. Because... It's not red, and it only happens with red. So what you guys would have to do is, if it's touching red, like another shade of red, you can't do the same shade of red, because then you're gonna go to level two. You get it? So if I make this red, it's gonna take me to this level again. I don't want that. I actually want to go to the next level. So you're gonna say, if it's touching, let's say you make this yellow. Then you're gonna wanna broadcast um level three. So every time at the finish line you want a different color, and then you wanna broadcast a new thing, like level three, level four, level five. So that was the basic scripting of the game. I'm actually gonna end this tutorial, which will be a fifteen minute tutorial of me playing the two level game. Thank you guys for watching. So, oh, I forgot to click flag. So then we start and we jump. So then we start and we jump. And I thought the video was already finished and you know all I have to do would be playing the game. But that's not the case. So we're going to quickly, when flag is click. So when flag is click, switch back, jump to, back to.
back.